Hello everybody, my name is Deathrunner93. This is a very different thing. This is a uh, RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. Um, basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys the basics for this episode, for this, if it is going to be a series. If you guys like this and would like to see a whole thing, me trying to show you guys a little bit all the way up to doing maybe a basic script, I can maybe show you. But, uh, um, I'm going to probably not have a mouse pointer appearing, but if you guys would like a mouse pointer where you see where I'm doing all this, then we can do that. But, uh, we're going to start, we're going to go to file, and if you want to start a new project, you literally just go new project, because we're going basic. If you want a project name, let's do this, uh, YouTube test project. That sounds good, right? All right, see, and it tells you your, your uh, location right here. You have your game title, so that is what's going to be right here on the right. Is literally what's going to be the game title that's going to be up on the top. You know, the actual, you know, and everything. Um, and then the folder name, once again, is where the folder is going to be right here, right there. So we're going to start. And you, you probably notice right now, the interface looks maybe simple, maybe threatening. Depends on if you uh, have had experience with the programs before, or if you've watched people do things or play or something like that. But if you notice right here, this is this right here is a very crucial thing. But we'll get into that in a little later. I'm going to explain what each of these things do on the interface for right now. Right here is your map and it switches to a map editing mode. Map editing mode is basically me doing this and making putting things on the map. Um this one is the event mode and also it gives you F5, F6, you know, all that. Um this one basically lets you move your events. Like this one's called a starting event and it basically is where you start up when you push new game. You know, you can go fancy later and make an introduction and do a bunch of really neat things. And we can go into that later. But, yeah, we have that. See, you can right-click and there's events. We're just going to do a quick creation event. So, basically, let's just say treasure chest. It's going to ask how much gold. We're going to say 10 gold. And boom. And it even puts the treasure chest down. Now, in later stuff, though, in explaining, we're going to be putting in, you know, character sheets and different things like that. Some of this may sound a little weird to you, but, um, yeah, it'll start to make sense after a while. All right, and the next one we're going to do is the region. We're really not going to cover the region so much. I will, as the series go on, I will explain to you bits and pieces of what a region will do um as we go on but right now um don't worry about it so much we just need to focus on event and map and right here let's go back to uh map right here is how you want to display your map see if you go one to one or one to two one to four one eighth see it basically it's the whole thing half of it a fourth of it an eighth of it it just depends on how big your map is. Sometimes maps will, if you're really getting into there, you have a map that goes to either the one fourth or the one eighth. That sounds huge, but seriously, you will. This is actually the smallest, or one of the smallest you can go with a map. And here we have, you can go to your database, which is something we will be covering soon. Database is where a lot of the magic happens. But there's another, there's a couple other places where the magic happens big time too. The next one right here is called the resource manager. Uh, when you open up the resource manager, and I'll open it up just to show you, uh, it'll show you all. I mean, this is literally all of your folders that have stuff. Um, when you start going in, how did I say? It? When you start doing more full, uh, more scripts and more things like that, and getting if you want to get really fancy, sometimes there will be more folders. They won't show up here. You'll have to go and push and put things in. You know, I could be wrong though. I'm a little rusty, but 
Yeah, I mean, it, it comes in handy big time. But see, you know, here's your animations, your battle backs, different things like that. Battle backs are like background. You got your battlers, which is, you know, just images of enemies. Uh, characters. Characters is actually really awesome. It's called your actors as well as your characters. Basically, it it's basically a 3x2, which adds up to 6. Um, thing that does a character sheet and does a bunch of really neat things like that. So it's really cool. Faces are actually really cool. Let's see if we can preview one. There we go. See, faces are an eight image or uh, image thing, you know, and it does like for messaging and stuff like that. Let's see, uh, we'll see if we can get an example of characters. Let's see, there's one if you have characters and you have all of them together. If you notice, there's three. Oh, three by four. Oh wow. I'm a wow crazy all right my bad my bad my bad once again to told you guys I'm a little rusty but I'm gonna try to teach you all I can parallaxes are in the background of literally the whole thing pictures pictures a lot of magic happens there a lot of you know you can do fancy things or things like that the system is stuff like your game over and your like battle start you know a bunch of really crazy stuff your window yeah a lot, a lot of crazy stuff tile set well all these right here are what you're seeing on the left there's actually more but we only have one thing which is a uh oh man it gets it gets fancy because we go here it's called a tile well literally your tile set and you have different tile sets i'm not gonna go and explain too much with this this episode though but other than that, um, you just uh, left left click, add stuff, go fancy. You can add mountains. Look at that. So look at that, and they add together. You don't really see if you watch it. You can add your mountains here if you want to do that, but you really don't. But there might be somebody who thinks that's cool, and if so, if you can you can try it and see how it works. See, boom. Do a little bit of that. I'm just doing random things. Give you an idea of uh, what you can do. It's it's really cool. And let's say we want to connect. Yep. And then we will take this. Let's see. We'll add some dark water. Just to really add add to the depth of, of everything. Because if you add that dark water, see how much it's, it's already just... It, it, it pokes out and looks much nicer. There we go. See, look at that. Anyway, kind of gives you an idea. Oh, right there is really dark water. I can't see on my ship there unless I have a bigger ship. We got our lava. You know, different things like that. And um, a big thing here, also I'll cover these. If you want to save your project like we're going to do, you can save. Save periodically. Dead serious. Save periodically. This is your open project, and then this is for a new project. When you, let's say, your project's closed and done, you close project, you just go to open project, and you go to the location, and it should be a, or look, it'll be an RPG Maker file that pops up in that folder. It's really nice. But, um, other than that, let's see, let's cover the last bits. We have the script editor. Which the script editors were the second part of biggest magic ever. Your script editor and your database are your two biggest things. All the magic happens here and everything. I mean that looks a bit threatening. And it won't won't it won't as much when we get done. But I was just gonna let you guys see, take a look, get an idea. It's crazy. It's fun though. It is. It's incredibly fun. Um, we have our sound test. Our sound test is really awesome. Sound test is basically where you literally... Let's see. Let's try this. Alright. See? Anyway. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. See, and you have your... Uh, ba ba see, BGM is background music. BGS is background sound. This means like your melody effect. 
and this means your sound effect. So ME, melody effect, and then sound effect. At least that's how I learned what each of them do and everything. So background sounds are well indefinitely loop. See? Got darkness, which is like, oh, something just got creepy. Oh my gosh. It's actually, I've seen quite popular in some uh, RPG Maker stuff. That's a earthquake, apparently. My favorite is always the rain, but normally I drop it down to about... I normally drop it about right down to there, and and then, you know, when the rain's going on. It's really cool. You can even adjust the pitch. You can make it lower. You can do that to really affect how you hear things. So we got fanfare. Gag. So it's just a little melody, it's like, oh my gosh. And it's victory, and, you know, there's a lot of really neat things here. And sound effects, of course, are kind of like, let's see, auto door. So it's like a high-tech, you know, as you heard, door. So it's really cool there. Alright, and then character generator we will cover in a later episode, if you guys support this. Um, yeah. The COG, Manage Project, this is the last thing we'll cover. Manage Project is, see I'm using the Steam and everything version. And uh, yeah, it kind of gives you a little bit of manage of how big your project is and keep track of your projects. You can maybe share, make it, make a demo if you want of something. Like a uh, maybe a resource or a script or something like that, you can share it on the Steam Workshop. Really awesome to look at that. Also, another place and uh, that I always look at that has great resources is the RPG Maker VXA's forums. You know, RPGMakerVXA's.com, I believe. They have really good people who always seem to do do, do stuff. They have a lot of awesome stuff and everything else. And Google's your best friend. But so you can do project description. This is my test project. That's all you got right. Well, no, <laughs> you can go a little more than that. You can be like, you know, let's see, let's think of a good one. This is the story of a young man and his dog. If you uh, if you can. Uh, Remember, know where that quote's from, then uh, GG to you guys, GG to you. <laughs> but yeah, you just like, you can update it and everything else. You can save it to your cloud if you have that. A lot of really neat things you can do here. You can even see, you can change it to game resource, what it is, your game genre. It's really fun, because you can do so many things. Let me just, uh, yeah, there's so many things you can do. It's really awesome that I mean the things that they help and allow. Let's see, there we go. Yeah. Just put a little green grass. Just kind of give you an idea. Boom. See, and then this is where we do that. There we go. But see, you know, it's not too bad. Last thing. On uh, I up here I showed you the last thing. Down here uh, I'm going to be showing your A and your B. It goes all the way up to E, I believe. And this is your tile sets and all the different things there. See, look at that. You can get a big mountain. Look at that. Looks pretty awesome, am I right? You got a town there. It, it, it'll come down to preference how you want. You maybe don't want something so small or big. See, there's what that looks like and stuff like that. It's really cool. You have to tinker with it and try it out. So... And just always remember, you know, this is your project. These are the maps. That's what each thing's called. It's a map. All right, we're not even gonna we're not gonna go in detail. That's what a map looks like without anything else. All right, and since there's that, that's pretty much all I'm gonna cover. This is a long episode. Um, they're not always gonna be this long. There's gonna they're gonna be shorter. So, um, yeah, I, I thank you guys and everything else, and I uh, hope you enjoy um, you know, the video and everything. So I thank you guys. Sorry, this is a bit new, and this is a bit different. 
So, uh, you know, just uh, let me know what you think if you'd like to see more. Let's make it creepy. Or maybe we should, uh, you know, oh, anything. Without further ado, my name is DeathRun93. And I'm from Shiny Show Studios. This is RPG Maker VX Ace. Pretty much a test project, you know, tutorial. And I'll see you guys later. I love you guys. Bye-bye.